Reptiles Are My Life, story by Megan McDonald, pictures by Paul Brett Johnson. Reptiles Are My Life, story by Megan McDonald, pictures by Paul Brett Johnson. Insects. Cool, creepy crawlies with funny names like stink bug and earwig that can run, jump, fly, hide, climb, dig, swim, and sing. Six leggers were the first creatures to fly and have been around since way before dinosaurs. Insects live everywhere. There are a billion, billion of them on Earth. No lie. Everyone should go buggy for insects like I do. Vanessa, Atlanta. Six spotted green tiger beetle. Stag beetle, fire ant, leaf beetle, walking stick, lantern bug, snake fly, moon moth caterpillar. Reptiles, fascinating four leggers and no leggers with scaly skin like snakes, lizards, alligators, crocodiles, turtles, even dinosaurs. No amphibians allowed. Just think, reptiles are 300 million years old and come in all sizes, from the reef gecko, two inches long, to the American alligator, 19 feet long. Reptiles can do amazing tricks, like shed their skin and drop their tails. Reptiles rule. Carolina, Carolina. Red-eared sliders. Sea turtle, gecko, skink, collared lizards, crown snake, chameleon, chuckwalla, gila monster, coral snake. The day Maggie poked her snake stick into a tree stump and came up with a snake fly, was the day Amanda Frankenstein knew they'd be instant best friends forever. Amanda was crazy about insects. Maggie was wild about reptiles. When Amanda wore her spider band-aid to school, Maggie wore her rub-on tattoo of a sea turtle. The day Maggie got a fancy license plate for her bike that said, I break for skinks, Amanda painted her bike seat yellow, black, and red stripes, the colors of a leaf beetle. And when it came time to line up for recess, Maggie and Amanda always made up the tail. Whip tails, said Maggie. Amanda and Maggie's secret rock. Keep away or you will get bit by a crocodile or a stag beetle. Maggie and Amanda were two bugs in a rug, two crocs on a rock. I'm going to change my name, Amanda told her friend at lunch. What's wrong with Amanda Frankenstein, asked Maggie. Boring. Call me Vanessa Atlanta. It's my secret name, the scientific name for a red admirable admiral butterfly. Then call me Tantilla Coronata, said Maggie. It's scientific for the crown snake. Crown snakes give me the shivers, said Amanda. I can't be best friends with an insect eater. Okay, said Maggie. Then I will be Carolina Carolina, a box turtle. Do you eat insects, asked Amanda. I eat worms and slugs, but mostly I eat mushrooms and berries. Good, said Amanda. Have a strawberry, Carolina. Thank you, Vanessa, said Maggie. In class, Miss Scorpio asked everyone to write a letter to a famous person. Amanda took out lined paper. Dear Mr. Governor, please make ants the state insect. Yours truly, Vanessa Atlanta. P.S. Ants are the strongest insects in the world. Maggie used her best printing. Dear Mr. President, please make Alligator Pie the national song. Yours truly, Carolina, Carolina. P.S. 
I don't eat alligators. It's just my favorite song. Victor the worm read their letters. There's no such thing as a state bug, said Victor. An alligator pie is green and makes you die. Maggie blinked. Amanda came to the rescue. Victor, you are the spit of a spittle bug, she said. You are the dung ball of a dung beetle. The very next day at school, something happened. Amanda was examining a hairy caterpillar that Maggie held in her pencil. I think it's a moon moth caterpillar, said Amanda. Is it really from the moon, asked Victor. You're from the moon, Victor, Amanda laughed. But Maggie did not laugh with her. Maggie had her eyes on the door. Maggie was looking at the new girl. Meet Emily Alligator, said Miss Scorpio. Alligator, said Maggie. She dropped the moon moth caterpillar and asked if she could sharpen her pencil. She wanted to get a better look at the alligator girl who was wearing, of all things, a gecko shirt. I have a gecko named Hootie, Maggie told her. I have a gecko named Handsome, said the new girl. I have a walking stick named Slim, said Amanda, but nobody heard. At recess, Maggie was so excited about geckos, she ran to get in line next to Emily. What about whiptails, cried Amanda from the back of the line. She heard Maggie say, reptiles are my life. Jiminy Cricket. Maggie had changed friends as fast as a chameleon changes colors. On the playground, Maggie and Emily chirped and barked like lizards. Gecko, gecko, click, click, they yelled. We are the Gecko Girls. Click, click, yelled Amanda like a click beetle. That's not right, said Emily. Maggie would not look at Amanda. She dug the toe of her shoe into the dirt as if she were a gopher tortoise. Crawling up the side, the slide, the Gecko Girls pretended to climb glass walls like geckos. Amanda climbed like a leaf cutting ant and took a bite out of a maple leaf. Ick, she's eating a leaf, yelled Emily. Maybe she's a chuckwalla, said Maggie. Chuckwallas eat leaves. She's a Gila monster. Yikes, look out! Emily puffed up her cheeks, gecko style, and fell on the ground playing dead. Maggie did too. Amanda curled up in a ball. She looks cuckoo, Emily said to Maggie. I'm a ruby-tailed cuckoo wasp, called Amanda. Nobody listened. Handsome dropped his tail last night, Emily told Maggie. Hootie dropped his tail last night, too, Maggie told Emily. Slim grew back a leg, said Amanda. Still, nobody listened. Everybody knows insects are for eating, said Emily. Everybody knows reptiles are cold-blooded, said Amanda. If she were a stag beetle, she'd give those gecko girls a good pinch. Riding back home, Emily and Maggie got way ahead. See you later, alligator, they said. Carolina, Carolina, wait up, called Amanda. Nobody waited. Maggie did not even remember their secret names. Amanda felt like a louse. If only she had a friend or two. Three louses were better than one. Three louses made lice. Maggie and Emily were as together as two bog turtles on a log. When Emily came to school with red lipstick behind her ears, Maggie wore some too. We're red-eared sliders, they hissed. When the lipstick wore off, they drew black lines around their necks and gave each other a third eye. Collared lizards, they shouted. The next day, the two were dressed exactly alike in yellow, black, and red stripes. What's yellow, black, and red all over, they asked Amanda. Yellow, black, and red all over? The phone book, said Amanda. Nope, a coral snake, said Emily. And a scarlet king snake, said Maggie. See, we're copycats. Different snakes, but we look alike. Where are the snake sisters, said Emily. If Amanda were a fire ant, she'd give those snake sisters a good sting.
In the gym, Maggie and Emily did lizard push-ups. They scooted across the floor. Hey, frog face, called Victor, chasing after Maggie. Then Emily, ribbit, ribbit. Frogs are not reptiles, said Maggie. They're amphibians. The snake sisters slid over the floor like sidewinders. I'm telling, called Victor, looking for Miss Scorpio. They stuck out their tongues at me. Maggie, Emily, is there a problem? asked Miss Scorpio. Maggie blinked. Emily blinked. Maggie's ears twitched. Emily's lips started to quiver. Amanda Frankenstein came to the rescue. They're the snake sisters. Snakes smell with their tongues, Amanda said. Victor, girls, Miss Scorpio said. Let's stay out of smelling range. Thanks, Amanda, whispered Emily. Thanks, Vanessa Atlanta, whispered Maggie. That afternoon, they rode bikes like the wind, all three of them, fast as six-spotted green tiger beetles, fast as six-lined race runners. Amanda told her friends about the famous lantern bug that looks just like an alligator. We are the flying alligators, they screamed. Hey, Amanda, what's yellow, black, and red all over, asked Emily. A scarlet king snake, asked Amanda. No, a leaf beetle, said Maggie. From that day on, they were as together as three bugs in a rug, three crocs on a rock. Emily, Amanda, and Maggie's secret rock. Keep away or you will get bit by a crocodile or a stag beetle or a gecko. For the writers at Brighton Township Elementary School, M.M.